All right, hello, my name is Emily Brown. This is Claire Oligschleiger, and she is, has no orchestra experience. So our lesson plan for today is I'm going to teach her how to hold the instrument and then just to play a D major scale pizzicato. So Clara, to start off, when you have your instrument, this is the violin. Um, so to hold the instrument, you don't wanna hold it with your arms or anything like that. You're just gonna tuck it in this is called your chin rest. It's gonna put it in there. It's gonna put your shoulder right on this nice pad here. Just gonna hold it. And then we're gonna stand like this for just a, couple, a few seconds. So I want you to try. So you just put your chin right in there. Okay, now we don't want it to be like sideways. I know that you're a gangster violin player, but we don't want it. And then you don't wanna sit your whole cheek on it. It's just your chin. Is it okay if I show you again? Just your chin, right on that part of your neck. Okay, so now try to let go of it and just hold it like that for just a couple seconds. All right, awesome. So now, do you think you got that under control? Yep. Okay, so there's four strings on the violin. There's G, D, A, and E. They're all a fifth apart from each other. So if we went over to the piano, G, D, D, A, A, E. So we're just gonna play around with this a little bit. So if you wanna hold it, I'll teach you how to pizzicato. Okay, so here's the first thing we can fix. So when you're holding your instrument, you want a very straight wrist and a nice straight forearm. If your wrist is bent, you won't be able to play as well. So we want nice and straight, and then just like try to put your fingers on. Yeah, see, that's perfect. Okay. So now, when we pizzicato, we're gonna take our thumb and we're gonna put it right in that little nick there. All right, and then we're gonna take our index finger and we're just gonna pluck, pluck, pluck. All right, so just play around a little bit. Okay, let's make sure that we keep this straight. So yeah, you're kind of like angling it out like this. We just wanna make sure that it's, yeah, perfectly straight like that. Okay. See, real quick, just try putting your fingers down on the strings, but try it with how your wrist is. So try it like that, and then try to move your fingers kind of hard, and then put your wrist fully straight. Now try. Yeah, see, that's a lot easier. It's crazy, ain't it? <coughs> All right, so then, yeah, just play around a little. All right. So now we're going to try to learn our D major scale. Okay. So which string's D? Do you remember? Nope, that's A. Oh. Yep, it goes G, D, D A, okay. E. Yep, exactly. Okay, so if we're playing a D major scale, you know your scales pretty well. At least you know D. Um, <laughs> so, to play your D major scale, if this is the D string, the first time we pluck, it's going to be totally open. There won't be any fingers or nothing. Perfect. So then this first yellow line here is where your first finger goes. So try going D... E, nope, sorry, this first yellow line. So your index finger will place down right on the yellow line. There you go. So now we need to go D, E, F sharp. So, all right, so try playing your D. Now go to E, now try F sharp. Ooh, see, it's not far enough down there. <coughs> but you had the right idea, just putting your second finger down. So if you play up on, this part of the instrument, that is gonna be your um, F natural. So we just gotta put a little more down and it'll be in tune. So, yeah, see? Yeah, exactly. Okay. So then, do you get like how we're going now? Yeah. So just try to play the first four notes. So D, E, F sharp, E. Yeah, see? Okay. But let's make sure that we keep everything straight <laughs> and you're standing up to it. I know, it's a lot to think about. Okay, so you're moving your third finger down a little bit too much, and if we put our pinky down there, that's gonna play, G. it'll be just like if you played an A. So we don't wanna do that though, for the sake of this. We're just trying to play. So nice and straight, wrist totally straight like that. Yep, there you go. Okay, so now that we learned the first one, it's the same thing as on the next string. So you know, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, two, three, oh, 
open. I guess I should be saying open instead of one because okay. that's going to confuse you with your fingers. So make sure we keep our wrist straight. Uh, <laughs> I know, it's hard to... It's straight. This. It's like this. So you're having it where it's it's almost kind of, you're trying to have, like, have it hold the instrument. It shouldn't be touching the instrument at all. See, if okay. you if you yeah. wouldn't mind if I just... Sorry that we don't have two violins that I can use. <laughs> but see, it's just... So your wrist is totally straight out, and that way your fingers can just... You're curving it this way. Little, or it looks curved. Nope. Okay. Straight, or you're going to have it like, you just don't want it in like this. Okay. Alright. So let's try it. So. Yeah, and then you don't need it like that deep in there. It's just kind of like a little placeholder. So, yeah. so open, one, two... Three, and then yeah, just put okay. your three just a little bit farther. It's, it should be right on that yellow tape, your three. Okay. <laughs> it might feel a little weird on your fingers because it is a little close. Okay, so open, or oh, that's not right. Okay. Open, one, two, three. Open, one, two, three. Yep, so this is C sharp, and so if you played it down here, it'd be C, so you did just right. Both okay. on D, it's gonna go one, your fingers are just gonna look like this, basically. So, let's try playing the whole thing. Okay. Open. Perfect. So, on this third one here, you just gotta put your third finger right on the tape. I think you're putting it a little under, and it's becoming a little uh, sharp. Which way then? It should be like right there. So it's gonna go one, two, three. It's gonna get real close, but. Okay. So just try playing it. Just try playing that note. Yeah. <coughs> yeah, okay. So now let's try doing the scale, but let's go all the way up and let's try going backwards and going all the way down. Okay. Here we go. One, two, here we go. Open one, two, three. Open one, two, three. Awesome. Yeah, so then we'll go three, two, one. Open three. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I know. It's weird, ain't it? One, two. Okay. Awesome. So. Let's try doing that again, all the way up, and then let's try to make sure that our fingers are right on. Some of them are a little out of tune, but you know, you've also had this thing for just a second. Wrist straight, yep, all right, awesome. And then, <laughs> your thumb should be up. Yeah, no, you're totally good. All right, here we go. One, two, here we go. Open, one, two, three. Yeah, there you go. Open, one, two, three. Three, two, one, open. Three, two, one, open. Awesome. So, we got that pretty well, pretty quick. So we're gonna try to play it with the bow. We'll get a little weird here. I know. Okay, so this is your bow. Okay. Um, it's made of, this part's horse hair which is super interesting that like we still use an actual animal to make stuff for our instruments. So how we're gonna do this, here we can put this down for a second because now we can just do some bow work. We might not play the D major scale on this, we might just work with the bow. Okay. And so how we're gonna start is I just want you to hold it like this and then I want you to try to walk up the bow. See, it's kind of tricky. But you're just gonna kind of crawl okay. up. All right, so just try that a little. Just with one hand. Yep. See, it's hard, ain't it? <laughs> so try to go all the way up and then try to go all the way. Oh, <laughs> it's hard, ain't it? <laughs> okay. So you, so you don't want to like, let, like, you never want to go like, uh, and then try to like. I know, it's tricky, ain't it? But you're doing great. And then back down? Yeah, try going back down. So, 
part, just the thumb. Yeah. <laughs> what would you use it for? Just, it's to get control. Okay. Yeah. So you don't only hold it in that spot? No, you do. But it's just, okay. So just now, to recognize how you're Yeah, and it's just kind of like a balance thing. Oops, let's hope that didn't stop the recording. It didn't. Uh, okay, so now we can try to hold the bow. Okay. You're going to put your thumb right in that little niche there. And then you're going to kind of lay your finger flat down across this little metal part. Put your two fingers. This finger should go right here on this little dot. Okay. Which is called a frog. And then uh, your pinky should lay right on top of there. And so your pinky, it's just kind of like have a little arch. So try holding it. So in, that one you can add on top of that. No, so your, so your thumb is the only thing that's really going to go in. Okay. And here, let's, let's try holding it like on a horizontal plane just so that you can see it. So right hand out, thumb goes in here. Then this finger will lay kind of flat across there. Okay. Ring finger on the frog. On this? Yeah, your ring finger though, not your middle finger. Right. And then your middle finger just sits next to that. And then that kind of pokes up on top. Okay. So like... so this'll this will touch this, but it just kind of goes up instead of just like flaying flat like the rest of them. Alright, so let's bring our instrument back out. Now that you have your bow license. <coughs> and so, we're going to try, but now we need to talk about using all the bow. So we're going to go down, up, down. So let's just go right, let's go on the A string. We haven't played too much on that today. Yeah. It's alright. So, right now, you're like arm, you're very rigid. So you're going to kind of put this shoulder down a little. And then... Here, let's start all the way up here, and then a nice fluid down. And then try to go back up, just that same nice sound. Oh, isn't that so pretty? Alright, so I'm, so what we'll do now is I'm going to sing, I'll go like D, <laughs> D, D, A, A, and so then you'll play D, D, A, A. Okay, and this one's D, right? Yep. So D-A. G-D-A-E. All right. Okay, so D-D-A. Yep. So like, yeah, let's say, for example, that's our first one. D-D-A. Okay, yeah, and let's try. So we have to still use the whole thing then? Um, no, I was seeing it kind of short, so if you want to start. So the this bottom part of our bow, if you start up, like, going up there, um, and you don't have to start, like, right at, like, the tip. Okay. But gravity is going to pull better on the down bow, so you're going to have a better, stronger sound. Okay, so then let's, yeah, it is. <laughs> and then let's make sure we keep our wrist straight. Yep. Uh, yeah, it's a lot to think about. And you're doing great for only having done this for 13 minutes. <coughs> All right, so now let's try it again. D, D, A, A. Here, let's, let's do whole notes. So let's do a full bow. D, D. It's all right, but you're doing a great job keeping this relaxed. It's okay. You literally just picked this up. Okay, so let's try again. You're going to be finding the devil down in Georgia in no time. Okay, so we're coming up towards the end of the lesson. Them. Your mom only paid me for 15 minutes. Oh. Um, <laughs> I know. Um, <laughs> it's funny because it's the truth. No, I'm just kidding. And so, do you feel comfortable? Do you want to try the D major scale with the bow? So we'll go D, dum, bum, bum. Uh, All right, let's try. Done. Oh, I know. Here, and let's start up here. Okay. Okay. So, like, kind of lined up with that is a good place to start? That's just where yeah. you keep feeling. Like, okay. <coughs> so then, and then wrist straight. Okay. 
<laughs> That's like the main focus of this lesson is I'm just trying to make sure that you can hold the thing pretty properly. So thumb in. Thumb. Well, you got to have our pinky, have your pinky pointed. It's going to... Pinky pointed that off. Well, no. Nah, so right now you're just kind of like having it on the edge. It's going to go, it's going to be up like a little bump. Got to have that pinky bump, okay. as the kids all say, right? Mm -hmm. Pinky bump. Okay, so thumb in. Thumb in. Ring finger on the dot. Ring finger on the dot. Pinky bump. Yeah. Bump that. Oh, and then you don't want it like pressed in. Nice and relaxed. Like you had it so that you were like, it was going in like this. Just nice and relaxed. Pinky bump out. Bang. Perfect. Here we go. All right. Okay, so. And then we're going to play up here. No, we're going to play oh, up there with the bow. Yeah. Okay. So I'll count you in and we'll try it. One, two, here we go. Let's try it just one more time, okay? Ugh. This will be the last part of our lesson, all right? <laughs> Here we go. You got this? I totally believe in you, Clara. Uh -huh. Remember, we're starting on this string. Yeah. Pinky bump, yeah. pinky bump, straight wrist. This is all we're looking for. If you can nail this right here, it's all over. No. All right, here we go. Nope, starting, open. One, two, here we go. Open, one, two, Nice job. You did pretty good. Like, if you were a sixth grade kid, like, that'd be the next Mozart. So, good job. Thank you for helping me. Great lesson.